aces on the right uh, on the left sorry we will fall back okay we're gonna call and uh, it's just a cooler unfortunately for him nice nines on the right and um, we're gonna call this three bet we will go for a delay C bet now to target some um, check back top pairs uh, from the big blind here. I think that sizing is better, looks better to me. Uh, nines will continue the check call. It's a bad card because it helps Villain here to double barrel a lot of his ace hex hands with like a club, with just like just the one club, which puts us in a, a slightly tougher spot. So I think we will continue here with the aforementioned range. And now that hand gets there. I don't see how we win this now unless he has complete air. I don't really see what we beat here with nines. My son. Defend threes and we flop our first set not too pleased to see the snap check i would assume villain would be c betting all of his ace x hands so i think he probably has air and i think he also be betting his flush draws on the flop too so my kind of read at the moment is our opponent has nothing so we're just going to go for a small bet here on the turn so when he calls i now put villain on a 7x so I think we'll just go for another bet just to target specifically that hand. Okay, so we uh, got the call and opponent had a 7x turns facing a small one three bet. We'll continue with a call. Cheese is quite a large sizing here on this board texture. I don't think we fold tens just yet. This board is looking pretty bad now for us. Should be betting quite a small sizing here. Uh, I don't think he even needs to bet too big uh, on the turn here. But he does the most surprising option, which is he checks on this turn card. Um, so now I'm wondering if he has a hand like pocket nines or jacks. So we'll check back. I suppose he could have some ace king. I don't really see why ace king would ever check that board, surely just continue betting uh, to get value from our flush draws. Don't have much time here, but I suppose... Do we jam? I think we've just call... Oh, probably quite a nitty um, just call there. Uh, struggle with the time bank, don't really have much time to kind of think it through. Okay, let's continue with sevens, and we flop top set. I guess I was just really struggling to see what hand could actually pay us off um, when we had the um, Revit full house with the pocket tens. On this turn card, I think we'll lead here for a small sizing. If we get raised, we will three bet the flop, uh, three bet the turn. So our small bet did induce um, a small bet, um, a raise here, uh, which is great. Ah! Oh. Okay, so <laughs> we folded a full house. Oh my god. We probably lost out on a quite a big part there potentially. We are going to come in for a full bet here. And we get five bet here, which uh, I don't think has happened in a very long time. And we do have 30 seconds of time bank. I think we'll just call here. Unlikely there's going to be scare cards of ace if he's got kings or queens given. Obviously, we've got two aces. I think aces, we just call down and hopefully get a clean run out. Okay, so he pretty much jams, um, so we're going to call. Wow, and he had ace-king. 
Oh, man. I thought, uh, I thought we just ran it once and I just saw the, like, the queen. I was like, oh, I thought we lost the entire pot. I think it's our time for the squeeze here. And uh, I think we made it, make it 13 and a half. Get four bet here, which to me is now a clear gem. And he snap folds, which is nice, because now that should give us a bit more credibility now. We are going to open four bet bluff with our ace seven suited. He's seen us do this with aces, and he's just seen us jam here with ace king. So this should look pretty strong to him. We've chosen the exact same sizings as well. <laughs> and uh, he is going to five bets for the second time. I think we should be um, a bit more picky here. We have a better hand than a7, even as a bluff. Namely like ace5, ace4, ace3. Um, so we will fold the a7 suited. Ace5 here. Bet flop, bet turn. Don't see how he has five, six, five, six, seven. I don't think he bets a king like this. Blocking ace deuce, unblocking clubs. I think we're going to hero this. Okay. Guess that's probably the only value hand that makes sense there, I think. Queens, we're going to squeeze. Queens. Um, we're going to check here and see what our opponent decides to do. I've got check raise as an option in, in the back of my mind here, but let's see what sizing he chooses. Okay, so he goes for a small bet. Does he ever do choose this with um, tens, or is this always jacks or nines? I don't think he has tens too often here, so I think we will check raise. Obviously not a great card, because I think his one pair hands like sevens, eights, nines are in the same bracket as his 10x hands, as like his jack 10, uh, 10, 9 suited. This card should never be good for me, so I think we have a 100% check on this. He probably doesn't want to give us a free river card if we do have a flush draw, or if he has a flush draw, he might jam and rep a flush draw or a 10. So this is a really tough spot now, I think. On balance, I think we do check here, even if he does have a flush draw, and we're giving him a free, a potential free river card to realize his equity. I think we still have to check here. The question is, uh, he has the option to bluff here, but he bets very small. The thing is, it's not, it's never a bluff, it's a value bet. It's just a question of, does he have any value bets that we beat? So we'll continue with the call. Well, that's an interesting river card. I think a bet's good here. I don't think we should ever check. Yeah, let's go all in. I think a bet's good because if we do have ace, king, ace, queen, diamonds, or kind of diamond draw, all of his nines, eight, sevens are surely just going to check back. They don't bet for value. That was uh, an interesting hand. All the population um, wouldn't take that spot. But that's, that's, that would be a really nice spot there to um, check raise me as a bluff with pretty much any two cards. Um, and I would be put into a really tough spot there. Um, I personally felt like I had to take the spot given, you know, I didn't want to show down versus his weak one pair hands. So I kind of, kind of had a mandatory bluff there. Um, so I don't think there's any other way I could have really played that hand either. Okay, so... This is interesting with the ace ten of spades. Um, we've got position, which is important when we have um, the nut draw, as we can control the action a lot more um, easily. And uh, so I think in this spot, uh, we want to continue the just call. And that card does decrease the value um, of our hands. We'll do, so I think the only hands we now beat, so um, are like, like 7-4 of spades, 7-3 of spades. This bet sizing doesn't represent a boat for me. So this tells me that my flush draw outs are live. So therefore, we're going to continue with the call. Because I think if you bleed small, 
I'd be more inclined to fold, to be honest. Uh, ten nine suited. We'll let go of ten nine suited. And now I pray we win against busted straight draw, uh, flush draws. Yep, and he had the uh, four seven of spades. Great card here for him to bluff on. He doesn't necessarily, or he shouldn't at least necessarily always have an ace x hand here. So if we call here, interesting as we have the king of spades as well. So it would be pretty hard for him to bluff um, us off an ace here, in my opinion. So it's an interesting spot which we are going to think through. He decides to bet quite big now. So the only hand he has is aces. Uh, for Valley, that can potentially call us. So I think we're going to go for the bluff here with the King of Spades blocker. I don't see how he has a strong hand here. Nice. I wonder if it's a bit too wide to squeeze here with the Ace-8 offsuit. Just trying to decide if I want to take the spot with the Ace-8. You know what, I'm just going to go very loose here and go for the squeeze. And uh, we'll raise Kings. I don't like it too much, to be honest. This does, yeah, get punished. So I do kind of deserve it. Uh, a say I do think it's too um, loose. Uh, check kings on this flop. Um, and that's not a great turn card. Uh, we'll continue checking. And aces will trap this time. And we'll lead kings now. And uh, this is kind of the problem when you slow play aces and you flop the nuts or flop top set it's going to be really hard to get um, action here we really need to just heavily rely on our opponent having um, like an ace in his hand which is obviously not too often um, given we've got two of them all right so let's not time out <laughs> uh, with the nuts and uh, we will continue with the call okay so we do love to see uh, this double barrel here did we just call? No, I think we just jam here given stack, to, uh, pot to stack depths. Uh, go multi way with 3 5. Interesting turn card. This board is all me. So we're going to overbet lead here into two opponents. Snap falls all around. Nice. Uh, defend 5 6. Open jacks. Flop two pair here. We're gonna mix this spot here. I think more likely, more often than not, we would raise, but this time we'll go for just the, the call. And we'll see a flop with jacks. And uh, five six. Don't see much reason raising here, so we're just gonna call down. <laughs> what a run out. Guess we just call for the chop. And then he just rivers the straight. Wow. Uh, ace three, they ace space. We see back here. And we continue versus all check raises on the turn. Uh, it's the question of do we want to just realize our equity for free or do we want to start piling pressure in? This is his 8x and some one pair hands. Um, if we overbet, I don't see us getting check raised. Uh, so I think I lean more towards overbetting. Uh, King, Queen. We're just going to check call down all the way to the river. And work that nicely with ace three. Maybe I shouldn't be so presumptuous. I guess it does depend on the bet sizings um, this guy chooses. So he goes for a massive overbet here. Uh, which is a really good sizing. As it does put us in a tough spot, but I don't think we just uh, fold a queen x here um, so easily. Give me, we can we can have so much other shite. I was going to say, in theory, you just should never really fold that. And they're just like, well, if I can beat king queen, I think only if I can beat king queen or have a strong top pair, then I'm going to like put in like a massive overbet. Because I don't think they would ever balance that by doing it with bluffs there. I think if they do that, I think they just always have king queen beat, which means I just have to always fold king queen there. Um, so I think that was 
my mistake there. Okay, so we flatted a say suited from the small line to it. And uh, we're now multi-weight. We see a half part bet here, just debating whether or not to call or to raise. I think I'm going to lean more towards just calling here. I'm going to get a problem either way. If we get raised by this player here, if we just call versus if we raise and then we see a three bet, it would be pretty horrible um, either way. So it's kind of the lesser of two evils there, which is why I lean more towards um, just flattening there. It can be quite a tough spot now if he does decide to. Um, bet big, but he doesn't. So I wonder if he just feels like he has the entire board locked up with like a jack ten of hearts. I suppose we can't, we can't fold here for that price with the nuts uh, nut draw. Now there's an action card, if I've ever seen one. I think we check here with the nut flush on the paired board. Jack tens are out there. Boats are out there. If this guy raises, because it's quite a small bet, so it won't be. It won't give me that much information if this guy raises versus a small bet, rather than if he bet big and then he jammed. Like this would be such a great bet if you had a full house, and induce jams from flushes. Nice hand. Ten jack. We'll see bet. And Ace King will three bet here from the big blinds. And we're just going to pile the pressure here with Ace Jack and go for an over bet. And uh, I think we will bluff clubs. And I think we will bet um, bluff bricks as well. Are there any cards that we wouldn't bluff on the river here with 10 Jack? Very few. I hope it's not an over bluffed spot here. But um, we are going to overbet the river here as a bluff. Nice. Okay, and uh, that's the end, guys. End result. Uh, I think we're up two buy-ins today. So um, it's been quite a nice session. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the action. And I'll see you next time.